Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Shadow Toys Photography. Tonight we're taking a look at the the Supreme Knight Batman. Once again, Mezco Toys have on outdone themselves. What an excellent looking figure. Let's take a look. Uh, Let's take a look right at his sculpt and paint. Awesome, I love the bullet holes in his chest armor. That's just excellent. Look all around. I mean, we'll get into any, everything. Don't worry about that. Just want to... Uh, really take in uh, how his armor looks. So it looks like a little rubber over cloth, which uh, works out pretty well for articulation. Gauntlets, the gloves, those look like they would hurt. <laughs> I mean, I just don't, I feel like not enough time and appreciation is uh, Put into uh, really admiring all the work Mezco puts into these. I love that uh, the Kevlar in there. Down of the pants. It's got that cool holster everyone's talking about. Can't wait to uh, put the back gun in there. Knee pads, scuffs, scrapes, markings, boots, same thing, dings, nicks. You know, he's been kicking butt on the streets of Gotham for uh, quite a while. I love how they do the texture under the boot. Awesome. Let's, uh,. Let's do a little articulation real quick. Now, we all know he's on this magnet here, but that magnet that's holding his neck there is pretty strong. And I'll get into all that, but uh, let's go with articulation. Normal bat peg, which I'll do head swaps in a minute. Um, good. On the chest pins. I mean, you could twist. I'm not gonna leave it like that because only I don't want to mess up the material. But I'll definitely give him a crunch there. All right. I mean, not too bad. I mean, it is an older Batman, so I mean, what is he in his 70s or something? I mean, my father's in his 70s. I mean, God bless him. He's still alive and still healthy. Thank God. But. uh I mean, yeah, he can't do a somersault or bend like a pretzel. And he's in good shape, too. <laughs> I mean, whoops, there goes the the magnet. So when you move the head a little bit, it kind of pops off. But it, again, it is a strong magnet. Let's move on to the uh, lower half here. Twist. Oh, that knee looks like it does damage. Uh, I, think it, I don't think that's a boot I'm cutting there. It's just a... Uh, like, I feel it moving around the material. But if it's good, realistic. Not too much in the pivot there. A little bit. There we go. I mean, he's brand new out of the package. I haven't really messed with him too much, so he is still a little tight. You know how they are. I've said this before, they're, these Mezcos are like clay. You just gotta mold them and move them around. But yeah, I could have sworn someone said they have a boot cut, but I mean, maybe. It doesn't really seem like it. It seems like the more I shake it, I'm just loosening it up. So I'm not gonna mess with that too much. All right, let's, uh, let's get into the uh, head swap here. Pop that off. Normal Batman 
fat peg. Let's do the yeah, base compared to. He's very mad. He's upset. <laughs> I, know, I can't describe the emotion that face is on the tip of my tongue, but I'm in his cowl. Just like the uh, Mezco teaser. Awesome. I love it when it matches the prototypes perfectly, because sometimes that doesn't always happen. I understand that, but when it does, it's whoops. Give a little adjustment here. The old man head on here. I think I love the hair texture and the Coloring just a very slight, slight black in there. Very nice. Um, I guess I'll leave him with the old man head sculpt, head sculpt on there. Actually, no, let's pop it off and put it on uh, mean papa face. And let's uh, let's get into that cape. But I love uh, I love the aesthetics of him real quick. I mean, it, it's just giving me the uh, the Dark Knight vibe, you know, the the second movie. And when uh, you remember that when he crushes uh, Scarecrow's van in the beginning, just like douche. I mean, this figure isn't very heavy, but it feels like he can Mario Brother uh, Mario Brothers <laughs> accordion squash somebody. Just <laughs> very cool. Okay, let's get into the. Uh, the cape here. So this pops off. It's very strong magnet. It's like very strong. I mean, I can move this around without holding it. I'm not cheating. I'm not pressing down. It stays on there. But some, you know, some pulls obviously obviously is gonna pull the magnet off. But it's very good. I was that was a concern and put that baby to rest. So now we'll pop this off. And I got the other cowl hanging over here. Let's look at these quick swap out. And it's on the hook back here. Oh, you can't really see that. But, uh, ooh, actually real fast. Now that I have this out off, put that like that for customizers. I mean, pop that out. You could have a cool, like, for your diorama or something. You know, obviously you'll have to get just the cowl, but this will, uh, Looks like he'll sit on a shelf or something, you know, like before he puts on a suit, kind of like how I have the background there. Just, uh, sorry, just, uh, we'll notice something right there. Okay, so apparently, I've seen someone get instructions with these. I gotta say, mine didn't come with any instructions. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm crazy and they didn't, but let's see if you could see this in here as I try and figure this out. Okay, so the front of it goes like that. I mean, I see how it matches, but I just feel like, see this part, see how that's in there? I feel like that should be up here, right? There we go. And boom, the wire to cape is on. I am so happy, <laughs> Mezco. Thank you for doing the wired capes. I mean that uh I love a lot of the stuff they do, but I have to admit that uh that stand they used to give for the capes was just very very uh I don't know tedious I guess is the word to use. A little it felt like a, just a little harder work, you know, to get it going, but you know, I guess with the right I'm just trying to get that look that with the one they used to give with the stand, you know. Look, he's kind of. Let's get him in a pose here. Let's work this clay. Boom! Mikey just landed. Let's see if you can look up a little 
Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so like that scene I was talking about, boom. Awesome. I mean, this is just obviously one example. I could play with this for, you know, we could be here for hours and hours. My videos tend to, oh, there goes a Batman head back into the crevice of the back cave. My videos tend to run a little long because obviously I want to cover a lot of things. So, try to be mindful of that. But yeah, I guess I'll keep this cape on for now. I do like the, uh, the one it came with though, the stock one. But obviously, this one's just like, you know, let's see if I can get it to one more. <laughs> yeah, I know it's sloppy, but I'm just trying to do this quick. You get the idea. Awesome. Very awesome. We've all been looking forward to that. That is just an excellent, uh, long overdue needed accessory for these Caped Crusaders. Speaking of Caped Crusaders, Mezco, I very much, we as a community, besides Rob, I know everyone wants Robin, but we also need a, a Martian Manhunter. Oh, real bad. I mean, I'm ready for him next. Um, okay, let's see what's next on the list. Let's go over the uh, accessories. It comes with quite a lot here. I did the heads. Let's see, let's start with the batarangs. I haven't taken them out yet because it's a lot. Let's see, it says 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, 10. Looks like they each got. Oh, wow, those are like usage scratches look how they're all some of them are same but some of them are different at first i thought that was just the design but now on camera yeah it's just from him throwing them around and picking them back up again that's awesome what a they really are getting into the nitty-gritty of details here's the the together three throw yeah again it's got some wear and tear and scratch marks on them or well, i'm sure like Deathstroke would block with a sword or something. It's like, bink, and picks it up later. Very cool, very cool. Um, okay, let's uh, let's go to the Batarang, I mean, um, grappling hook gun. Detail the color, see if I can get that closer. Awesome. Now it looks like both holes are open, but only the top one is. The bottom one definitely has a little something inside, but that's cool that it looks like it's double on camera. Wow, colors pop. Man, excellent. Oh yeah, let's pop the little, uh, let's do them in order here. Whoops, I just dropped them, of course, because they're very small. We'll let that be a lesson to you. And it's gone. No, I got it. <laughs> Be careful, they're small and they can get away from you. Let's pop in there a little bit and, oh yeah, out of the building or through somebody, yikes. Like in Batman vs Superman, when he shoots it through that guy's shoulder, that was just very cool. In the uncut version, I believe. The, before the Snyder Cut, oh no, that's Justice League, Never mind. Anyways, um, here's the open one. And, um, yeah, so I guess this little thing pops in there, I mean, okay, oh, no, I'm not even going to try it <laughs> right now, but they have one with rope, which was going to look cool. Um, okay, what's next? Here's the batarang, the meaty bat batarang, the one, if you took to the face, it's broken nose lights out probably broken face is that like a hair on there i don't know jeez louise yeah it is i have a cat so sometimes little hairs get everywhere sorry about that yeah scratches the dings but yeah i was saying if you caught this to the face 
you're done. Even like in your leg. Ah. All right. And we got the Karambit. Karambat, <laughs> I call it. Nice. Looks like it's sharp. Like you put someone's head in there. Ah. If they move, they get cut. Very cool. Be very careful with this centerpiece, though. It did pop out, but as you can see, it pops in easily. I'll get, we'll switch his hands out and stuff like that. We'll cover that. But I really like this weapon. This is like a... Batman's not afraid to hurt you weapon. <laughs> uh, what else do we got? We have to cover the hands. I'll do that. I'll, I guess I'll do that last. Here's the big mama jama the equalizer cannon i like the sound of that the equalizer because he faces a lot of meta humans and this levels the playing ground again the colors it's got a little wear and tear on it doesn't um cock back or anything like a shotgun but i don't know if it does um don't um not too familiar with the comic series of this character, but I have a lot of Batman. I swing towards the movie side. I just like the design, you know, say, say what you will about your opinions at the movies. I like the design and um, yeah, I just dig, uh, I really dig Aflac's Batman. I thought he, uh, I hope he does it again and goes back because there's definitely more layers to he could bring, I feel. But anyways, um, yeah, so, very cool. Uh, let's, uh, actually, let's real quick, I got the other NECA blaster rifle right here to compare it. The Parademon gun, just so. For shiz and giggles. They're about the same size. So I assume Batman took this and made his own rendition of it okay now let's go over some hands i haven't popped them off yet you know i'm always nervous let's do oh whoa that was smooth silk that was butter beautiful let's do this one it's usually the left on all <laughs> again all a little tougher but came out fine all right, Batman, let's give you some Hans. All right, what do we got here? Um, oh, well, real quick, of course, he comes with the normal. Oh, already got a little dust on it. Comes with the stand there. Oh, sorry, light shine, but yeah. Same as a symbol. I like, I really like the this bat symbol design. And it comes with the hook, of course. Normal and the bag. They didn't leave out the bag. This is the second time I didn't get any uh, Mezzets though. I'm a little curious. Uh, I used to give them for free, but someone did mention, oh, why are they giving them for free? And I guess they heard them. So good job, Big Mouth. <laughs> now I haven't gotten any Mezzets. I was looking forward to growing my Golden Gomez army. Anyways, I'm uh, going off on a tangent. Here's some open palm hands for Batman here, which, I'm not going to put on him right now, only because I want him to hold some weapons. So put those aside. You saw the fists. We have, let's see. Looks like this is the equalizer cannon holding hand. I'm just going to pop it right on. Yes, because the finger's on the trigger. And here's the other cupping scooping hand obviously it could be used for different things but so you can kind of get an idea oh yeah but again i'm going to kind of do a half and half i might use this hand but not this one i'm gonna put this one on standby got the other trigger hand i can fit the uh grappling hook gun perfectly Let's see if we can fit on this one. Yes, but his finger isn't on the trigger. Hmm. How does the equalizer cannon hands fit on this? 
not bad. I think I think this one's the winner winner chicken dinner for the right hand. So let's pop that in there. Oh yeah. Beautiful. And then let's of course. You know, let's first stow this away on his back. I've been dying to use. This doesn't swing. It looks like it does, but it does not, so be careful. I think it just yeah. He's got a little Sorry, he's covering the light, but you could see the slide in there. I'm gonna try and do this here. Yeah? Are you in? Are you in? Yes, a little gentle push with my thumbs here, and it ain't going anywhere. All right. See, okay, so he's armed, he's got that in the back. Now, <laughs> maybe in the future, you know, technology increases or something, they could get these to open up and we could put the uh, batarangs in there. That would be sweet. Like, I want, I love the sculpt on the belts. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I just wish, and I know it opens the door to a lot of QC issues and just issues in general because things would just pop off nonstop, but I really wish, like, the days come when they, we get great sculpted belts like this and we could just put, use everything, switch them out, make our own utility belt. I mean, we could switch our own cape. Ooh, maybe that's next. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I love these figures from Mezco, especially their DC line. I don't buy DC from anybody, but Mezco nowadays, I was from other lines, but they just, just beat me out, oh yeah. She came with a blast effect. You know, I guess I guess I have plenty to use, but this hole is ginormous, so I don't know if they'll fit in there. Do something else, get creative. It's just look how easy that is to pose. Boom. <laughs> Lazy posing 101, but yeah. Boom. Alright. Let's get him a left home. Okay, um, we got a few more hands to go over here. See, we have, hmm, let me get these together real quick. Are these the same ones? No, it looks like they're different. Now, one of them's to hold the karambit, karambit, I am hope I'm saying that right. Apologize if I'm not, but. And one of them's to hold the battering. So, that's that set, and this is, and the little batterings. I think this is definitely the little batterings, and so is this one. Actually, oh, you know how you can tell? Two of the fingers are sculpted, yeah, and only two are, are, to, are loose there. So obviously I don't need to bother with the right hands because I only need the left. So this is the one, is that the sculpted down? Yes, so he's only got three moving ones here, and this one's got the whole nine. Well, let's see. Well, I know this is going to probably hold this a lot nicer. It does. It's actually perfect. Made for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Don't want to get hit with that. Let's try the, the three for one. Little batarangs. Again, perfect. Okay, so this hand's obviously for that. Now, let's see if this hand can hold the same things. Yes, good. Next, battering. Not as aesthetically pleasing, but still good enough. Uh, uh oh, oh, can't get it out. Cause it's got that, see that little sharp edge? And they are sharp. Not that it's gonna cut you sharp, but Okay, so here's the very cool yet very delicate weapon. Okay, so it pops out like that. Fold that out. Really don't put any pressure on this because like I said, it popped the whole thing out. It popped it back in easy. Obviously, Mezco thought of that. Again, the scrapes, the cuts, the things, the details. I love it. But yeah, well, actually, let's try real quick the three finger. I doubt this is going to hold this as nice. Okay, so not... 
No way. So being that these last two fingers are sculpted down, kind of holds it a little far up. So I think this is going to be the one. Oh, yep, see, there it went. Darn it. Was I rough with was I that rough with it? I guess when I rewatch this later. I'll see. It didn't seem like I was, but good example of how it could pop out easy and well I did have it. Darn. So you pop the bottom piece in first. I'm just gonna Come on then, if I get some tweezers, just kind of snap it in place. Oh, it came out over here. It's probably got little tiny hinges, there we go. Cool weapon, but it's super delicate. But yeah, I think this is the hand. No, I don't want to take this back out. That was a lot of work. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not too bad. All right. He is looking good. Okay, let's see. What's next? Uh, let's do, let's get some of this accessories out of the way. Actually, real quick, let's see how he looks with the Parademon rifle. I should have tested these hands out first, but. Oh yeah, perfect. Maybe get a little dual wield action going. I'll have to mess with that later. Might as well see as to rely on the burners, the equalizers. Excellent articulation. I mean, from behind, bang, boom. <laughs> I don't know the sound this gun makes, but I'm sure it's something loud and ridiculous. Okay, let's get some uh, let's get some comparisons going. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, well, so many to choose from. Let's um, let's do like regular characters first. Let's get him in kind of a static pose. Well, we can disarm him a little. I'm gonna leave the other weapon in there, but I'll turn it inward a little. Get him a little bit more standing at attention. All right, let's do let's do people from the that we've seen from the uh, the promo shots. Deathstroke. Let me switch this so he doesn't blend too much to the Robin suit, which I desperately need to paint. <laughs> and again, you can't see the ground, but trust me, take my word for it, they are they are on even ground. Let's see if he's. About the same height. Uh, Batman maybe got him beat a little. Can't really tell by the shoulders. I mean, I think it's the same body. I'm not too sure. All right, next, let's try Mr. J. Who's on? Yes, the Joker body. Who's also a lot of characters around that body, like. Gordon and uh, uh, like John Wick and a whole zombies, a whole lot of characters. So I figured the Joker was the most appropriate. Now with this weapon, which is funny because obviously I said the head can fit in there. I've tried it on a lot of different Mezco specific heads and none of them fit as well as the Jokers. I'll show you with other heads. I'll try, I'll go back to Deathstroke, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like this weapon was specifically made for him. But this crazy guy will just like cut his neck on here. 
this Batman doesn't care, you'd be like, well, basically, you did that to yourself. So, anyways, all right, let's move Mr. J off here. Let's, um, let's switch realms. Let's get their little, uh, all right, Batman, stand down. Get the Miss Marvel in there, who's on the only, uh, the Mezco normal female body. So Catwoman and Harley and I didn't get Harley yet. She should be coming in soon. And uh, Wonder Woman, all the same body. Yeah, does he even, I mean, she's got sculpted hair, but it's not gonna work. Doesn't work too well. Just no safe place to get that in there. So next, let's try Nosferatu. Who's, whoa, surprisingly tall. I need to do a review on him still. So yeah, and again, you think, oh, this is going to work for sure. No, it's still not, it's just still a little too big. I really think it's a Joker that Batman made it specifically for the Joker. Again, I didn't, uh, I don't know the comic book lore and, you know, the ascension of knights other than what Mezco has shown, but, uh, yeah, let's jump out of Mezco for a second, do a Mafex Ra's al Ghul ninja, who actually looks a little well. I don't know if, mm, if he could pass as Ra's, but definitely your generic ninja. I mean, until we get our beautiful Mezco ninjas. This guy's obviously just a, a pole stand-in for now until your superior arrives. I do have Golden, which I have to review as well. Let's get uh, back to Mezco, DC ally, John Stewart Green Lantern. And again, not that these guys would fight, but let's see. No, it's still, oh, okay. So maybe it's just the shape of head because it's a little tight, a little tight. Um, okay, jumping back out, let's go back to Mafex just to compare some Batman bat suits. It's the Mafex armored Batman because I missed out on my holy grail of Mezco's because people want to charge as much as the hot toy and obviously I'm not doing that so don't care what the value is is because it's a little made up when you ask me but uh yeah that's my holy grail of figures and it's got a skyrocketed ridiculously that's my gripe I'm sorry but anyways uh here let's try a little Gomez body Pink Skull's goon, who's not wearing his mask properly. I can take a right on this McFunnett cartilage. No excuse. Let's see if this, let's see if this fits. Let's see if this fits. Skull face. Mm, no. I feel it. I feel this like stretching. Useless. Okay, um, let's get him next to other, compared to other Batman. Let's switch back to, we're still in Mezco. The Batman vs. Black Mask two-pack bat Batman with the Nightmare Batman. Bruce Wayne head, I don't know, this has got hit. Okay, I'll kind of close it for now. Now let's compare everybody, and then I'm going to do a bunch of Batman head swaps on this guy and see how they stack up, but a little taller, but that makes sense because you shrink a little when you get older, unfortunately. Um, speaking of Nightmare Batman, which, whoops, just dropped a little extra accessories. Here's the Nightmare. It seems bulkier, but... Nah, 
I'm pretty sure it's on the same body, normal, typical Batman body. It just, I don't know, it just feels different. I don't know, something about him. Maybe they tweak some things, change some things. But I'm pretty sure Mezco just has, you know, besides the female one, I think the, the Spider-Man Gomez, uh, Batman, bulky Batman, um, the Joker body. And I believe one more, I can't think. But anyways, here's the other band, which I feel is the closest one to be compared to here. So if you missed out on him, this is definitely a nice, a nice one, because I know this one skyrocketed to Hot Toys prices. Ridiculous. Yeah, very cool. And uh, a couple more, a couple more. One more Batman. Justice League. It actually looks really good in this light. Oh, similar, not different, but similar kind of cow, cows there. Um, oh man, can't leave out the man here. <laughs> Cannot wait for that, uh, what was it, 78, 79 Superman? Oh yeah. Lucky enough to get this one, did not get the other Superman, the comic book one, but could not resist Christopher Reeves. Like, come on, iconic. Um... Yeah, all right. I think that's it for comparisons. Let's do some. Let's do some head swaps. Let's see. Let's cycle in some bad guys. All right. Let's get this guy back in here. Let's try this one. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Actually, let's take this off. Which is another look. And then another reason why I got this Batman. Because like, oh, you know what? I finally have a Batman without the cape. I mean, he looks like... <laughs> ready. I like, I like. Let's pop this one on here real quick. Oh, that works too. Let's pop the old man one on here. Again, very good. I mean, his it's the light that's hitting his skin. It makes it look a little, you know, uh, I don't know, unpainted, I guess. But that's really, it's really not the case. I don't know if I can. He's got the wrinkles. This light, this camera is just not doing him justice. But yeah. Not bad. All right, let's uh, move, move around. Let's try this guy out. Whoop. Let's see, so this is definitely a yes, which is good. Let's try Batman versus Superman, Batman. Which, hmm, no, I don't think, yeah. No, it's giving me uh, the those creature things from Stargate. <laughs> just not working let's see if it uh can go the other way actually yeah actually not too bad surprising let's try let's get the old man one in here Actually, it looks pretty good. Actually, it looks pretty damn good. I like the gold helps. I don't know. He's popping it out. I guess the gray and the gold. I don't know. Something about it. I like it. Okay, let's uh, 
Let's try the Nightmare Batman. I think I'm going to have the same problem. I think he's going to be a little too long necked. Yeah. Um, not as bad. Well, the front does look, oh, he's a little crunched there. I don't know. A little tiny head. <laughs> tiny headed. Let's, uh, whoa. Sorry. Too many Batman around here. They're kicking the camera. It's in the nightmare. Or a little hun hunch necked. Hump neck? Hump back? I don't know. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's, uh, get this one on here. And he looks like he has no neck whatsoever. Okay. Forget that. That's out. Okay. Um, let me see. I think we only got one more. Oh, no. That was too quick. Switch this one out. Actually, I think this one might work. Not too bad. Uh, I'm on the fence with it. His head's a little thicker. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's, uh, let's go this way now. Okay. I don't know. It's all right. Now he looks a little big-headed. It's giving me uh, maybe Thomas Wayne, Thomas Wayne custom, you can guys could get going, something, give me that, let's try the old man head real quick, a little tight fit, feels like this cowl's loose, not bad, I should like, like this a lot better, I think he can go in a lot of bodies, um, okay, um, I had a Batman, I think that's it, oh no, goodness, let's switch him out, let's go to, oh man, actually, let's put a, yeah, we'll leave that on there, we'll get back the, uh, angry head, Put him back together and see how quick I can make this happen. I got a little practice in. Oh yeah. Boom. Seconds. Seconds. Oh, actually, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. The Mafex Bat Pod. It's the I do have other bigger vehicles, but it's the smallest one I could fit on here. I mean, ah, oh, darn it, shoot, you can't really see. I mean, if I can move the camera a little. The height, let's see if you could kind of fit on here. Yeah, this is the Mafex bat pod, not the Big yards, so he's a little big and chunky. But there you gonna stay? Okay. Alright. Not bad. Not too bad. Now as always, I always want to uh truly thank all of my subscribers, some of whom have been watching since day one. And to all my new overwhelming amount of subscribers, thank you. I have uh, lots of shout outs to do, so bear with me. I got 
Ron, Alan, Omar, Deathmask, Michael, Bentaras, Honda, David, Tauntaun, Jonas, Albert, Cesar, Luca, Mark, Kim Juan, Raphael, and Apocalypse, and anyone I may have missed. Thank you, truly. I mean, wow. You all have made me feel truly feel feel blessed and supported and just uh, that's anyone and anyone anybody can ask for nowadays so really truly thank you i appreciate you um almost to 100 i think i'm at 89 90 subscribers so far let's get to 100 then i don't know i'll make a special uh, hangout play pose talk about myself i don't know <laughs> video whatever let me know anyways batman you have anything to add there have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight i don't even know what that <laughs>